to hear from thee this morning. Blessed Master, dear Lord, we pray, won't you come down? Oh, dear Lord, and fill their hearts, oh God, with goodness. Fill their hearts with the Holy Spirit, oh Heavenly Father. That at the end of it all, oh God, all the glory shall return unto thee, oh God. Blessed Master, won't you bless us together? Bless those that are physically present here. Bless those that are streaming, oh dear God. Won't you help us all, oh Heavenly Father, to be united, oh dear God, under the one word, Lord, in one body, oh Heavenly Father, one mind, one heart, oh dear God, to fulfill all righteousness. Dear Heavenly Father, we say thank you this morning. Take glory, oh God, take the preeminence in this place and speak to us, for we ask in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a, an opportunity, a good opportunity for us to be in God's house this morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, we thank the pastor uh, for asking us to stand this morning. Uh, you know when the pastor asks. When the pastor calls you. You know duty is calling. So we are grateful. Sorry, Alabora. And thankful that um, uh, the pastor has been inspired to ask us to come and stand. You know, when the servant of God asks you to stand, you can't even think. Uh, think of, ah, but I'll be doing this and I'll be doing that. Uh, it's when the duty calls. And as we have learned last week, it behooves us to fulfill all righteousness. Amen. Amen. Uh, so we are all standing at our post of duty this morning. And may God bless you for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Because coming to God's house takes a sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Others are saying, ah, it's a Sunday. Ah, no, I can rest. Others say, no, to the Sunday is washing day. Yeah, they, they, they don't do their washing on Saturday, they do it on Sunday. Uh, we've dedicated Sunday to serving God. One day out of six, out of seven. Ah, just one day. So if I preach for three hours, you'll bear with me. Amen. Amen. Uh, but we'll try and speak the message of the hour today. Well, we, will, we will try. Amen. Amen. Uh, let us not tire you. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 8. We'll read from verse 19 to 22. Amen. I don't know if somebody can read it for us in Sipedi. Okay. A morena ga a a a morena ga a a gona kua sion a khoshi ya gona ga e sa le gona mo ba be ba reng ge ba mphefedisha ka medimo ya diswantsho le ka mafela a bantle ba bonne ba khubishitse mere mere na ga re shura pholosho le nna ke robegile ka thobega ya Wanana wa se chaba seishu. Ififa, ififa lechu iki, sweri ki, tichaka neo. Aga ho, se charikuwa gilieta. Aga ho, se charikuwa gilieta. Aga ho, mureku wawona. Kika vaka, la wanana wa se chaba seishu. Asafol. Amen. Amen. Let's read it in English, verse 22. It says, Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? 
Amen. Amen. We may take our seats. Uh, you know when you read the scripture, uh, you can see the physical healing. You can also see the spiritual healing. Amen. Amen. So the prophet is asking, is there no is there no balm in Gilead? Hallelujah. Amen. Why is it then the people are not healed? Hallelujah. Amen. As I said, you can look at it physically or you can look at it spiritually. Amen. Amen. So is there no balm in Gilead? Hallelujah. That's what we want to speak on this morning. The balm of Gilead. But we, want to call it, but we want to call it something else. Hallelujah. Amen. That balm is the love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to speak on the love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So you pray with me. Hallelujah in your heart. Amen. Amen. So if you respond by saying amen, amen. we'll be out on time. Amen. Amen. Uh, it is now half past 11. Yeah, half past 11. Amen. Amen. Let's also turn our Bibles to the book of John. Uh, John 14. John, Amen. 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 John 14. Amen. Amen. Let's start there in verse 2. Amen. Uh, uh, it says, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, message believers, we know what that scripture means. Uh, the prophet explains it that old English. Uh, it's English man. Yeah, see, English. See, see man is a Amen. Amen. Uh, a house means a kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. So in my father's kingdom are many mansions. Amen. Amen. Uh, so let us not think about mansions of uh, Pendo or Oh, what are those places in town? Amen. Amen. Uh, the mansions the Bible is talking about are heavenly bodies. Hallelujah. Amen. So in my father's kingdom are many heavenly bodies. Hallelujah. Amen. If it were not so, I would have told you. So saith the Lord. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Hallelujah. Amen. So the purpose is for Christ to come and receive us back. Hallelujah. Amen. So when he comes, he must not find us busy with other things. Hallelujah. Amen. He must find us waiting where he left us. Still waiting for him to come and take us back. Hallelujah. Amen. Unto himself. Not unto a church. Not unto a doctrine. Hallelujah. Amen. But unto himself. So the journey of a Christian is to be ready for Christ to take you unto himself. Hallelujah. Amen. As we have heard, it behooves us to fulfill all righteousness, even the very small things. Hallelujah. Amen. The very small things. Hallelujah. Amen. Because our price is great. Hallelujah. Amen. We will not allow the small things to stand in our way from receiving the great things. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it is the small things that ruin our testimony. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So we must be ready at all times. Hallelujah. Amen. For Christ to take us home. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we know not the hour. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know my hour. You don't know your hour. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe we're meeting each other for the last time today. So we must make today count. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we gather in God's house, we must make it count. Hallelujah. Amen. We must serve the Lord as if it's our last minute. Hallelujah. Amen. We mustn't serve coming to church as if, you know, hey, the brothers are looking. Hallelujah. Amen. But we must be mindful that we're serving God. We're serving the most high God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not just serving one another. Just serving one another. Hallelujah. Amen. But as we serve one another, we're serving God. The one who created all the heavens. All the earth. And everything that is in it. Hallelujah. Amen. So if we think we are great. Just put your finger in the sea. And pull it out. And see if your mark is still there. Hallelujah. Amen. If you put your finger in the sea. And we can see the mark of your finger in the sea. Ah, then we'll say you are great, my brother. Hallelujah. Amen. But we are so small. So small, so insignificant, but the great God Almighty wants to dwell in you. Hallelujah. Amen. It is nothing but a paradox. Hallelujah. So small and so insignificant. Hallelujah. Amen. So small on the earth. The earth itself is so small in the great universe. Hallelujah. Amen. But the great God Almighty, who created all of it, wants to dwell in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants to walk in your feet. He wants to speak with your tongue. He wants to see with your eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. So we ought to look at the right things. We ought to listen to the right things. We ought to speak the right things. Because God wants to speak. Hallelujah. Amen. We're just laying a foundation. We're still reading the scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ wanting to, to receive us unto himself. That where I am. There you may be also. He wants us to, to be with him. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that it's not something that's still going to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is already now. Because we are already now. We are already sitting in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Amen. We just don't realize it. But we are there. Hallelujah. Amen. Just like the servant of uh, Elijah. Hallelujah. Amen. He, when he saw, he saw the enemy. He saw the soldiers. And he said, oh, my master, we are dead men today. Ah, oh, we are finished. Hallelujah. Amen. But the prophet, because he could see, Hallelujah. Amen. He said, Lord, open his eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. The armies of God were not coming. They were already there. Hallelujah. Amen. He says that he did not realize it. Hallelujah. Amen. Even us this morning, we are already in heavenly places. So the gospel has come. So, Evangelity. Just to remind us. Just to jog our memory a little bit. So that we can recognize where we are. Hallelujah. Amen. 
We're not just in uh, in Sesheho. I don't know what we're not just in Limpopo. But we're in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, sister, believe it. We are already in heaven. And heaven is not far away. Heaven is right next to you. Hallelujah. Amen. So the gospel so, is that voice coming from heaven. Just coming to charge you up. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't worry, it's not coming from the pulpit. Hallelujah. Amen. But it's coming from heaven to speak to your heart, to speak to my heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, we're still reading the scripture. Are we going to finish? <laughs> Amen. Amen. And whither I go, you know. And the way, you know. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord Jesus says, Jesus Christ, or, Where I'm going, you know. So you know where I'm going. And the way going there, you know it. Hallelujah. Amen. Thomas said unto him, Thomas Arwe, Lord, we know not whither you go, where you're going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, Jesus Arwe. Uh, you see, Jesus did not say where he was going. He said, where I'm going, you know. And the way, you know. So Thomas, being a natural man, Thomas, he asked, Mother, Lord, how can we say we know where you're going? And how can we know the way? And this is the, the response. Jesus said unto him, Jesus Arwe. I am the way. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you know the Lord Jesus, you know the way. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's not complicate it. Hallelujah. Amen. We think the brother will come with a map. And Jesus will come with a map. And say, you see, if you go, if you're going there, you go like this. And you must turn left there. If you know the Lord Jesus Christ, you know the way. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he said, I am the way. Not only the way, but the truth. So if you want to know the truth, know the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And the life. So if you want life, know the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Because all of it, all of life, is encapsulated in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not talking about this 50 or 60 or 70 years. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that uh, 70 years is not even a minute before God. Hallelujah. Amen. So 70 years cannot be life. 70 years cannot be life. Hallelujah. Amen. Even the condition of this life cannot be life. Hallelujah. Amen. If this was life, then we are the most miserable people. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in this life, you must buy a house. Hallelujah. Amen. You must go to the bank and borrow money to buy a house. To, you, must, you must go to the bank to go buy a car. And if they're not happy with you, they'll say, come bring our property. You can drive that car for four years. And you say, I am finishing. I'm finishing paying it off. And something happens. And they take it away from you. you. You can raise your children for 15 years. In that house. Something happens, you lose your job. And the bank says, bring it. Bring our property. If that was life, we'd be the most miserable people. Hallelujah. Amen. In this life, we must struggle and get a job. And you go to work, you're happy you got a job. 
And when you get there, you get a man that fought with his wife. And he wants to take it out on you. He is angry with all of you. If this is life, then we don't want it. Hallelujah. Yeah. So if you want life, brother, sister, come to the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Not even in a church. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, don't, don't, be, uh, don't stumble, brothers and sisters. You know, we're saying these things in church. Hallelujah. Amen. But coming to church is not where you should hang your life. Hallelujah. Amen. You put your life on Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you have put your life on Christ, Christ says, go to church. Christ says, go to church. Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, the Bible says it was his custom to go to church. Hallelujah. Amen. So what culture is this that we have? That we don't want to come to church. When the Lord Jesus Christ himself, the one we are coming to church to meet, he comes to church. Hallelujah. Amen. We also know that the enemy is also comes to church. Amen. 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 He is the one that makes you slumber. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't worry, he's tried me. Yeah, he tries me all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. The enemy trying to disturb you. Hallelujah. Amen. Can, can you imagine? You, you, you're going to spare. you go spare. You're going to eat your meal. Oh, and you say, no, I want, I want, uh, I don't know what, uh, what the favorite meal is. Uh, oh, I want ribs. Uh, so we know the brother loves ribs. Eh? Uh, my sister, prepare ribs for my brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Now imagine you're going to spare and you eat your, your ribs. And you're slumbering. On top of your ribs. On top of the T-bone. That's what we are doing when we slumber in church. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must fight that spirit with all we have. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we are feeding from God. Hallelujah. Amen. So may God help us. Amen. Amen. We still have not started our message. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, I am the life. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must hang all our life to him. With all its troubles, we must cast them at his feet. Hallelujah. Amen. And say, Lord, you brought me into this life. You gave me your word to live by. So I am not going to try. I am not going to try for myself. Hallelujah. Amen. You lead me, Lord. Lead me which job I must take. Lead me on which wife to marry. Lead me on where to buy a house. Lead me which car I must buy. Lead me on what I must eat tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Cast everything on him. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you want to meet the Father, the way is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no other way. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no other way to go back home. Except by the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. His disciples did not understand. So he says, if you had known me, you should, you should have known my father also. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, and from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So he was telling them that when you see me, you are seeing the expressed image of the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. And Peter said to, unto him, Peter are oh, sorry, Philip said unto him, oh, Philip are Lord, show us the Father, and it will suffice us. And I got to be. Jesus said unto him, yes, sir, when? Have I been so long with you? And you have not known me. And a he that see, has seen me oh, had seen the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And how says thou, show us the Father? So, whoever has seen the Lord Jesus Christ has seen the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. How many have seen the Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Amen. If you haven't seen him, be honest. My prayer is we all see him. My prayer is that we all walk with him. My prayer is that we stay with him all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the enemy does not want your fellowship with the Lord. He does not want your fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants to take you as far away from him as possible. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why the things that the enemy is developing are taking men away from God. Hallelujah. Amen. These cars that we think they are so good. We are able to go from here to there and there and up and down. But when we have to come to church, we look at the petrol gauge. We say, ah, there's no petrol. Ah, they'll understand. Ah, I'll stream. Ah, get a stream. Even this very technology of streaming. The technology and I will stream. It has other things in it. In a little jedi mokarayo. Others are streaming strange things. Baba Nova stream at the jedi mocha shish. Yeah. Amen. Even the WhatsApp that we use to communicate. The WhatsApp and every shumisha or revelation. Even that one is taking people away from God. It, it's putting things in there that tempts you from away from the things of God. It wasn't long ago. We were preaching about telephones. Uh, telephones. Yeah, uh, my brother. I'm trying to make a difference between a cell phone and a telephone. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah Yes, you know that thing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Not long we would we were preaching up against telephones. That use that phone wisely. Not for gossip. And it moved from a telephone. Yeah, telephone. And it became a thing in the pocket. Yeah, Not long ago, we were preaching about bioscope. Ah, uh, 20, 30 years ago. From bioscope to television. And the prophet talks about television. He says there's one good use for a television. Is to shoot it with a gun. It is to practice how I can shoot. That's the purpose of a television. Now, now the devil has taken that thing even higher. He puts it in your pocket. Hallelujah. Amen. So much so that others are even busy with the TV in the church. Hallelujah. Amen. We're streaming the message. No, we are streaming the message. Others are streaming their things. Right in the house of God. So you see the enemy. He does not want us to succeed in the things of God. He will bring this. And bring that. And bring that. Anything he can do. To try and derail us. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not allow him, brother and sister. 
Do not allow him, brother, sister. Hallelujah. Amen. We're sitting in the house of God. He reminds you. Say, hey, you have an assignment you have not finished. Hey, you've got an exam tomorrow. And you become nervous. And you're busy thinking about the assignment. And you're no longer listening to the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, sister, I'm speaking about things I know. Hallelujah. Amen. I had an assignment that was due. Yeah, on Tuesday. Hallelujah. Amen. And the weekend was the perfect time to do that assignment. And God said, we're having conventions that weekend. So I had to make a choice. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I going to spend the weekend doing assignment? Or am I going to spend the weekend in the house of God? Hallelujah. Amen. But God is gracious. God is gracious, brother, sister. When you choose God, when you are on God's side, God will be on your side. Hallelujah. Amen. It does not matter what is against you. Be on God's side. Hallelujah. Amen. And God will make sure, brother and sister. Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, the prophet talks about this thing. Eh? He says, you study. Hey, you study. So you do your job. And study. But before you go write that exam, Present your matter to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And say, Lord, I studied. Help me to help, help me to remember these things. Hallelujah. Amen. So we don't, we, we don't, we, we, we're not going to be busy with streaming. Uh, uh, busy with WhatsApp. Really, WhatsApp. And not study. And say, ah, before the exam, we're just going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. But when it comes to choosing the things of the world and choosing God, choose God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, brother, sister. Even your studies are the things of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. So choose wisely. Amen. Amen. Hey, I'm battling to get to where I want to get to. Hallelujah. And time is running out. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, Believest thou not that I that I am in the Father and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we see the works of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is the Father in him doing them. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, for our visitors, we have one Lord. So for buying Hallelujah. Amen. We do not believe in three gods. We believe in one God. In three offices. Hallelujah. Amen. When I go home and I visit my mother, she says, Oh, my son, I am so happy to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. But when I go to my home, my house, and my children see me. Say, ah, daddy, you've come back. We're so happy to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. And when my wife sees me, she says, ah, my darling, you've come back. I'm still one man. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, a son, and a husband, still one man. Hallelujah. Amen. Why is the, the Godhead so difficult? Why? Hallelujah. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's just different manifestations of the same God. Hallelujah. Amen. He was the Father 
Uh, he came as a father to Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. He came as a son in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he has come to his bride as the Holy Ghost. Still the same person of the Holy of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, if you don't believe that, believe the works. Hallelujah. Amen. But the greater thing is to believe him. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you fail to believe him, believe his works. Hallelujah. Amen. But here's the matter. Verily, verily, I say to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Not just I say to you. But verily, verily, I say unto you. He that believeth on me and the, and, and the works oh, the works that I do shall he do also. Do you believe that, children of God? Hallelujah. Amen. The works that the Lord Jesus Christ did. The, they that believe on him shall do that also. Hallelujah. Amen. And many times when we think of this scripture, oh, we only think about healing the sick. Hallelujah. Amen. But many other things that he did, like laying his life for us. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of us have laid our lives for our brothers? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, instead, you say, no, 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 no. You're asking me for what? 100 rand? No, 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 no. No, no, no it means I'm not going to have KFC. Ah, no, no, no. Sorry, my brother, I don't have. Sorry, Hallelujah. Amen. When you have it, when you have it, but you think my brother going to church, 100 rand? My brother, my brother, and deprive me of having my Kentucky. So my Kentucky is more than my brother's need. So Kentucky if fit at Hallelujah. Amen. The works that he did. We shall do also. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, am I telling you, children of God? Amen. 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 And greater works than these shall you do. Because I go unto the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord Jesus has already spoken. So we are going to do greater works. Hallelujah. Amen. It's about time we start doing it. Hallelujah. Amen. Loving one another. Hallelujah. Amen. Laying our lives for one another. Hallelujah. Amen. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. Hallelujah. Amen. That my Father may be glorified in the Son. Hallelujah. Amen. So whatsoever you shall ask in the name of the Lord, the Lord will do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let someone say it now. Yeah. Let's just let it go. Yeah. You, you can't ask for Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Those other things, we know them. Hallelujah. Amen. If I can just get that Mercedes Benz. Oh, hey, Benz. Ah, hey, they will feel me. But I'm good. Hey, they will know me. But I'm safe. We can't ask for that in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What is the intention? Nah, my camel, okay. What is it that you want? King into Enyaga. And why do you want it? I remember reading a quotation. The prophet was praying for some was going to pray for somebody who was sick. And he asked that person, What are you going to do with the healed body? Hallelujah. Amen. 
So it's not just about getting healed. But what are you going to do with that healing? Hallelujah. Amen. We've prayed for people. People get healed. As soon as they're healed, they go back to the world. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not saying we stop praying. Hallelujah. Amen. But a person must be serious with God. Why do we ask for the things we ask? Hallelujah. Amen. Because the promise is, is given. The word says you don't have because you don't ask. Hallelujah. Amen. And even when we ask, we ask amiss. Hallelujah. Amen. So it doesn't mean that we don't have because God does not want to give. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't have because we don't ask. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God wants to see us happy. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, ask much. Ask, the, ask a lot. So your joy may be full. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must not be afraid to ask the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. If your car is troubling you, ask the Lord, say, Lord, give me a better car. Because this one is troubling me. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get to church with this car. So God, please give me a, a, a good car. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm saying you can ask for a car from the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But what is your intention? Amen. Amen. You know, some of us are not praying for Corollas anymore. Corolla. Corolla anymore. Yeah. Amen. No, we're not praying for a test. No, 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 no. No, Lord, give me a 7 Series. BMW 7 Series. Yeah, uh, X5, you can't get any more. X5 is small. Lord, give me an X7. X7. Yeah, they'll, they'll feel me. When I drive in the church, and that song goes, ba 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 ba. Even when they're sleeping, they must wake up. Amen. Amen. What is the intention we ask for the things we ask? Hallelujah. Amen. God is more than able. He is more than willing to give us in abundance. But what is our intention? Hallelujah. Amen. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we're still reading scripture. Ne? We're still in John 14. Hallelujah. Amen. But here's the clincher, brother, sister. Amen. If you love me, that's verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Hallelujah. Amen. If you love me, Keep my commandments. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you don't love me, don't keep my commandments. But if you say you love me, keep my commandments. Hallelujah. Amen. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. That he may abide with you forever. Hallelujah. Amen. We'll know just shortly what the commandment is. Hallelujah. Amen. So this comforter, so even the spirit of truth, yeah. whom the world cannot receive. Hallelujah. Amen. So the world cannot receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him. But you know him. For he dwelleth with you. And he shall be in you. Hallelujah. Amen. So he's not only with us. But he's in us. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is him that the, the world cannot receive. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So you have something the world cannot have. So on a Hallelujah. Amen. You have the spirit of truth. On a one need. Hallelujah. Amen. You have the Holy Ghost. On a Hallelujah. If you do not have it, approach God. And say, Lord, you promised it. I desire the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we've, we've heard in the message, in the tapes, taping. certain of our brothers and sisters, Amen. certain of our brothers and sisters, certain of our brothers and sisters, uh, asking the prophet, say, Brother Branham, I, I, I desire the Holy Ghost. And he says, You've desired a good thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we still desiring the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Amen. Or are we happy to just have the title of being in the message? Hallelujah. Amen. Because the message is not a building. The message is not even the congregation in the building. Hallelujah. Amen. The message is God speaking to you. Hallelujah. Amen. God was gracious to send us William Branham. Hallelujah. Amen. As the seventh messenger to come and expound these things. Hallelujah. Amen. But let us not denominate the message. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, ah, as long as I go to that church. As long as I'm part of Masuke, I'm good. As long as I'm be part of the word, brother and sister. Hallelujah. Amen. We are all part of the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are saying it like this. That even if somebody comes from outside, he must come and have the right idea. Hallelujah. Amen. We are all Christians. Hallelujah. Amen. We are all feeding from the body word of the Son of Man. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Hallelujah. Amen. I, don't stumble at that word. That we're feeding from the body man, from the body word. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we're feeding from Jesus Christ. He said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood. You have no part in me. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, feed me as I am the word. Feed me because I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. Amen. So are we feeding on the, on, on, on the word of the bread of life? Hallelujah. Amen. Are we feeding day and night on the word? Or are we feeding only on a Sunday? Or a Rijafela Gasonta. It's Sunday. Oh, Gisonta. Hey, let me dust my Bible. And we put it in a plastic bag. Right, plastic. And we put it under the, the right. arm. And we go to church. Right, Brother, sister, that word must be with you day and night. Hallelujah. Amen. It must be with me day and night. Hallelujah. Amen. If I've got an hour and I have to choose, am I going to read the word in an hour? Or am I going to do my assignment? Hallelujah. Amen. You choose, brother and sister. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I always say that at work. People are crying because of time. Ah, there's plenty of time. There's lots of time. You say you don't have time. Ah, oh, then create time. Now, Hallelujah. Amen. And you know how you create time? Uh, there's this hour they call the lunch hour. Create that hour. Create that atmosphere in that hour. Food can wait. Hallelujah. Amen. But use that hour for the things you say you don't have time for. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know we only work eight hours. Hallelujah. Amen. 
In a day, there's three times eight hours. Hallelujah. Amen. Eight hours, that are. There is three eight hours. You work for eight. You sleep for eight. What's happening to the third eight hours? Yeah. It disappears because we're doing things we don't even know. We're touching here, we're touching there. The what's up here? WhatsApp amo a YouTube there uh, YouTube amola before you know it 8 hours is gone pelo tsi ba 8 hours ela is page but the time was there mara na go be e gone hallelujah amen so we must utilize the time we have so so tshiri shumishana go re na go le yona for the good things go dilo tsa malei hallelujah amen you say ah oh, brother now i work 12 hours so ha o re ngwana shuna ke bereka di iri tshe masumi page tshe masumi page there are two 12 hours in a day go na le di iri tshe pedi tshe tshe le sumi page mo le tshatsi hallelujah amen and you do not sleep for 12 hours and ga o ro ba le di iri tshe le sumi page hallelujah amen or if you sleep for 12 hours e ba no ro ba le di iri tshe le sumi page hey my brother hey ngwana shu amen So my commandment is to love love so molao wa go rat or rather or if you love me helen tat keep my commandments guluka milao ya hallelujah amen. amen and he repeats this in verse 23 and obujele ta se go timana ya lesumbe tsaro he says and he said unto him are wena if a man love me he will keep my words hallelujah amen and my father will love him and will come unto him and make our abode with him hallelujah amen he that loveth me o antatao not keepeth oh sorry let me read that again he that loveth me not o asantatao keepeth not my saying Hallelujah. Amen. So if we do not keep God's word. It means we don't love him. Hallelujah. Amen. I said I will show you just now what it means, what those commandments are. Hallelujah. Amen. But before we get there. Let us remind one another of what Jeremiah said. Hallelujah. Amen. He asked, is there no balm in Gilead? Hallelujah. Amen. Is there not a solution in the word? Hallelujah. Amen. Are there no promises in the word? Is there not a promise of eternal life? Is there not a promise of healing? Is there not a promise of providence? Providence will provide. Will provide. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Those promises are there. Hallelujah. Amen. Is, is there no truth in the word? Is there no joy in the word? Hallelujah. Amen. We must be happy, friends. And we must be happy in the word. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you take a little child. Uh, we, we were talking about your daughter, uh, Brother Magulan. As soon as he comes to, she comes to church. And she sees the sand. Ah, uh, she wants to see herself there. Every child wants to see themselves in the sand. Why? Because something in them knows that you are from the sand. You are from the dust and you go back to the dust. So the flesh wants to see, her, see itself in the source. Which is the sand. Hallelujah. Amen. And the children of God. And the souls of the children of God. Must desire to see themselves in the source. And the source of your soul, brother sister. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the word. It is God himself. Hallelujah. Amen. And we better believe it. 
We better believe that we come from God. And we go back to God. Hallelujah. Amen. What happened yesterday? Happened yesterday. I can't change it. Hallelujah. Amen. But what happens now is a choice. Hallelujah. Amen. I might have stepped on your toes yesterday. Forgive me. Hallelujah. Amen. Forgive me for stepping on your toes. But I can't change it. Hallelujah. Amen. But I have a choice today. Whether I'm going to step on your toes again. Hallelujah. Amen. So the mistakes of yesterday. They belong yesterday. Hallelujah. Amen. We have a choice today. Are we going to serve God better today? With all of our hearts. With all of our strength. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that's what the Bible is calling for. Love God. With all of your being. Hallelujah. Amen. Love God even with your chickens and your cattle. Hallelujah. Amen. If it were possible to bring your chickens to church, bring them to church. If it was possible. Hallelujah. Amen. What do I mean by that, brother sister? Let not a part of you remain somewhere. And you bring another part to church. Bring all of yourself to church. Hallelujah. Amen. And you say, oh, did I feed the cattle? Hey, did I take them out of the crawl? And the word is strong. And the, pastor, the preacher is preaching. And you're busy thinking. Hey, did I pour water for the goats? And you miss a blessing. Oh, that assignment. Oh, assignment. Hey, will, will I make it? And the blessing passes us by. Hallelujah. Amen. Busy with other things that do not edify. Hallelujah. Amen. So there is a palm in Gilead. There is a solution in the word. For whatsoever problem we're going through, there is a solution in the word. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no problem that has not been answered. We may not know the answer. Hallelujah. Amen. But we know the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Who holds the answer? Hallelujah. Amen. You may ask me a question and I say, hey, my brother, I don't know. Hey, maybe ask the pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. But God has the solution. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reminded of a story of one boy. This boy asked. He asked his mother. He says, mother. Where is God? And the mother said, hey, 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 my son, I don't know. You know, go ask the Sunday school teacher. And the boy asked the teacher. And the Sunday school teacher said, I, I don't know. And then I don't know how to answer you. Ask the deacon. And the deacon, I don't know. Ask the pastor. And the pastor went here and went there. The boy was not satisfied. Ah, and he went out. He saw a man going to fish. And he said, I want to go fishing with this man. And he asked this man, Where is God? And this man said, oh, my boy. Oh, God bless your heart. God is all I see every day. Everywhere I look is God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So even when you're looking at your problems, brother, sister, see God in your problems. Hallelujah. Amen. It matters not what the problem is. It does not even matter how big the problem is. Hallelujah. Amen. You have a bigger God than the problem. Hallelujah. Amen. You know God is so big. When you think, when you turn right, it's God. When you breathe in and out, it's God. When you drink water, it's God. When you look at your plants, it's God. Hallelujah. Amen. When you look at the sun, it's God. Everything we are, brother, is God. Hallelujah. Amen. So what's a little problem? Ah, that installment you can't pay. Because you can't pay the installment, you are grieved. Oh, now, now you are so sad. Because you're worried they're going to repossess. Hey, brother, you have a bigger God. Hallelujah. Amen. Who can change things in a moment? Hallelujah. Amen. They needed to pay tax. Pay your taxes, eh? We mustn't run away from tax. Uh, in fact, there's a scripture I have for you here. If I can find it, I'll read it. Yeah, in Romans 13. Romans 13 says, Render therefore all their Jews. Amen. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyway, the Lord had to pay tax. The taxman came. And I can imagine the treasurer in the church. Say, ah, there's no money. Hey, the coffers are empty. Uh, the children did not pay their tithes. Uh, they didn't pay the, they didn't do offering. So there's no money for tax. And the Lord Jesus said, Ah, Peter. You're a fisherman. Go, go catch a fish. The first fish you catch, open the mouth. And there was a coin there. Hallelujah. Amen. God is able to do anything, brother. Sister. God is able to turn your situation around overnight. Hallelujah. Amen. All it needs is for us to be serious. All it needs is for us to go to him with all that we are. Hallelujah. Amen. And we don't go complaining. Oh Lord, Oh, I've saved you this 10 years. Ever since I've been in the message, I've never done this, I've never done that. Oh, Lord, why? Why me? Why this to happening to me? No, brother, sister. You go to God praising him. Say, oh, God, you are, go you are, you are great. Oh, glory be unto thee, O oh Lord. The fairest of 10,000. The fairest of 10,000. The lily of the valley. There's no searching with thee, O oh Lord. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, there's no searching with you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You come praising God. You praise Him until you forget your problem. And when you are finished, God says, Let me give Him His needs. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I've always told my children, You know, your mother loves tea. So if you want anything from her, go make her a cup of tea. Before she even asks for it, you come say, Mama, hey, I made you tea. And she'll drink the tea. And afterwards she'll say, Ah, you gave me tea because you wanted something. But anyway, what is it that you want? Hallelujah. 
Amen. Then it becomes difficult for her to say no. If it is possible with human beings, why is it not? Why are we not approaching God in that same way? And say, Lord, we love you. Oh, Lord, we give our lives to you. Hallelujah. Amen. And we better mean it. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. And let it not be just words. Hallelujah. Amen. But let it be a meaning from the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Yeah, no, I've thoroughly lost my message. Amen. Amen. But anyway, let's continue with Romans 13. Thereby, verse 8, it says, Mo demanding ya. Oh no man anything. Hallelujah. Amen. But here's what I want to get to. But love one another. Hallelujah. Amen. For he that loveth. He that loveth another. Has fulfilled the law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we love one another, we are fulfilling the law. Hallelujah. Amen. Not loving one another as men please us. Hallelujah. Amen. But genuine love. Hallelujah. Amen. You know love is corrective, ne? Hallelujah. Amen. When you see me wrong, hallelujah. Amen. If you love me, you say, ah, my brother. Oh, you, I love you. That thing you did there. Or that word you said there. Is not quite right. Like this, for this reason and that reason. Hallelujah. Amen. When you correct me, I will see love in, your, in that. Hallelujah. Amen. When I see my brother in need. If I love him. I will step into that need. Hallelujah. Amen. It is love. Hallelujah. Amen. We're still going to get to what love, what, what, what commandment is. Hallelujah. Amen. First Peter. Petro Wamachomo. First Peter chapter one. Right, verse 22 he says, seeing you have you have purified your souls. Uh, no, uh, yeah, rather retranslated than Okay. Yeah. No problem. Seeing you have purified your souls. In obeying the truth. Through the spirit unto unfeigned love. Unfeigned uh, is uh, without pretense. Amen. Amen. Uh, love of the brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. So seeing that we have we have repented. Hallelujah. Amen. We have left the world. And have come to the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Now that we have done that, see that you love one another with a pure and a fervent heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we have left the world, because we have come to the truth, we must love one another. Hallelujah. Amen. With a pure heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Being born again, not of corruptible seeds, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which abideth forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we have been born again. Hallelujah. Amen. Not, not like the world says born again. Ah, you know, I go to that church. Oh, I think I go to the church of the born again. No, brother, sister. See, we have been born again. Because a new nature is now living in us. The old nature has died. And a new nature is living. Being born again. 
We must love one another. Hallelujah. Amen. Because a sign of uh, following God's commandment is to love one another. Hallelujah. Amen. John 15. Uh, John 15. Hallelujah. Amen. John 15, verse 12. Uh, 15. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, John 13 says, if you love me, John 13 are you will keep my commandments. Hallelujah. Amen. John 15, John 15 tells us what the commandment is. He says, this is my commandment. Hallelujah. Amen. This is my commandment. That you love one another. As I have loved you. Hallelujah. Amen. So our love one for another is the same way that he loved us. Hallelujah. Amen. The works that I do shall you do also. Hallelujah. Amen. The love that he loved us with, you will love with it. Hallelujah. Amen. Greater love with no man than this. That a man lay down his life for his friends. Hallelujah. Amen. Ye are my friends. If you do whatsoever I command you. Hallelujah. Amen. So to become a friend of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do what he says. Hallelujah. Amen. And to do what he says. Is to love one another. It is to love with all your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Love the Lord with all your strength. Hallelujah. Amen. Henceforth I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. Hallelujah. Amen. For all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. So everything that the Lord had for us. He has given it to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Even the great secrets of God. God has given them to us. Hallelujah. Amen. When he said Malachi 4, he was giving us his plan. He revealed to us his plan. He revealed to us what's going to happen from now. Hallelujah. Amen. When he says watch Russia, when he says watch Israel, the, the, olive, the olive tree, when, when that olive tree begins to bud. When he tells us all these things. We know what time we're living in. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that our redemption is drawing nigh. Brother, sister. All things have been fulfilled. We might not even see tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. What desperate hour ought we to be in? Yeah, a desperate. Yep. Amen. 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 We ought to be desperate, brother and sister. Because tomorrow might not even come. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight might not even come. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe the world will continue. Maybe But you might not. I might not. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, John 13. John 13. He says, Be not troubled. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when we say, You might not even see tomorrow. Don't be troubled. Hallelujah. Amen. As long as you stay with the word, brother. As long as you do in Ah, let that come. Let the end of the world come. Hallelujah. Amen. For as long as we stay in the way. As long as we do Because that's the only place of safety. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the way. 
Amen. Amen. Uh, I see we are getting tired. Uh, let's read a few quotations and we close. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. One day I'll preach for three hours. Amen. And Amen. You'll, say, you'll say, ah, that brother forgot a button in his mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. In the message, hear ye him. Amen. 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 Uh, the pastor quoted this message and I was blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. In paragraph 7, he says, Amen. I like in love. We try to use love. God's love. Like we do human love. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to what the prophet is saying. He says, We. we we try to use God's love the way we use human love. Hallelujah. Amen. He says you cannot fall in love with God like you do with your wife. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot fall in love with God like you do with your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. It's two different loves altogether. Hallelujah. Amen. In the Greek words, Greek words are different. One of them is called filial love. That's love you have for your wife. That kind of love would make you kill a man over jealous. Hallelujah. Amen. When you touch a man's wife, that love will make that man kill you. Hallelujah. Amen. But the agapao love, which is the godly love, instead of killing the man, it will make you pray for his sin, sinful soul. Hallelujah. Amen. So when a man tries something against my wife, those two loves will express themselves. Hallelujah. Amen. That filial love for my wife will, will make me angry and want to kill this man. But the greater love of God must take over. Hallelujah. Amen. That I end up praying for the man. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, any man that's married knows that, yeah, that's a trial. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a trial and a half. You want me to pray for this man who's just done this to my wife? Amen. Amen. That's the love the Lord has taught me about. Hallelujah. Amen. That you would lay your life for your brother. Hallelujah. Amen. It is that love, brother, sister, that the Bible talks about when it says it covereth the multitude of sins. Hallelujah. Amen. When we have sinned one against another, and we come and we say, my brother, forgive me. Hallelujah. Amen. Let that love come over. Let. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and hover amongst us. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the agape love of God may it hover in this house. Hallelujah. Amen. And may I say this. With all respect, let the agape love may it hover over every message believer. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the longer we are in the message, we become entitled. Yeah. I've been in the message 10 years. Ah, uh, when are you two months? You can't tell me. When, 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 when,
the longer we stay in the message, the things we used to be serious about, we're letting them loose. The TVs are coming back in the message. The TV and they come in and say, no, 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 it's, it's, it's a monitor. Before you know it, there's SABC2 running there. Oh, no, SABC2 running there. Uh, thing. What, what's the program? Mubango. Mubango. Yeah, Mubango is playing there. Now, Baraluka Mubango. Uh, we don't come to church in the evening anymore. It's because of Mubango. Amen. Amen. The longer we stay in the message, we're letting loose. Let the agape love of God come back and fill our hearts. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us be serious about the things of God. The same way we were when we first received it. Hallelujah. Amen. And stop counting one another how many years we have. Listen to what the prophet is saying. He preached this in 1960. He says, and we get the human element mixed up with the Christian. Godly element. And then we just get a mess out of it. Because we've mixed it with the human element. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we only know by inches, feet and miles. Amen. We know by inches, feet and miles. And we can say we know in, in, in centimeters and meters and kilometers. Hallelujah. Amen. And pounds and so forth. That's all we know. We are time people. God's eternal. He has no inches, no miles. No yesterday, no tomorrow. It's all eternity with him. Hallelujah. Amen. And we try to bring God's great infinite mind. We try to bring it down to our little finite mind. And we just get mixed up. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we think, ah, uh, 20 years. Yeah, 20 years is a lifetime. Ah, uh, uh, 30 years. I uh, should be a bishop by now. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm an apostle now. Yeah, no, I must graduate now. Because I'm in 30 years in the message. Hallelujah. Amen. If you read the book of Job, there was a man there that came to Job. The Bible doesn't even tell us where that man comes from. Hallelujah. Amen. He comes to Job, he says, I am, I am young. You're an old man. But let me speak. Hallelujah. Amen. And the man speaks truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Advising an ancient like Job. Ah, uh, but not with us. Ah, uh, these days. Oh, uh, who are you? When did you? When did you come to the message? Ah, uh, two years ago. Ah, uh, what can you tell me? May God help us, friends. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there is no great one and small one among us. We are all God's children. Hallelujah. Amen. All God's children. Sinners saved by grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Saved before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. We say sinner saved by grace. So we can be humble. Hallelujah. Amen. But we are God's brother sister. Hallelujah. Amen. We are a part of God. And we've got to believe that. Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing impossible before God. There's nothing impossible before you. Hallelujah. Amen. But remain humble. Hallelujah. Amen. Remaining humble. 
Power under control. Hallelujah. Amen. That BMW, my brother Magulan. BMW, brother Magulan. When it's standing there, the stop sign. Hey, hey, me follow. Go stop signing. Ah, a city golf can come. City golf can go to land. And just go speed past. I don't fit. But that power under control, brother. Para mataka pasaka town. Knowing that you've got 50 horses. Ah, uh, so, uh, these ones, let them go. Uh, Power under control, my brother. Hallelujah. Amen. When the enemy comes <laughs> to try and test you, <laughs> don't say, ah, uh, Johnny, come late. <laughs> say, ah, uh, power under control. <laughs> don't say, hey, they mustn't try me. I'll show them my colors. Power under control. Hallelujah. Amen. Remaining humble, brother, sister. Hallelujah. Amen. Saying the Lord saved me when I was nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. So why must I be puffed up? Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, my brother, I'm just using your car as an example. <laughs> I'm not saying be humble, brother. <laughs> I'm just using his car as an example. Hallelujah. Amen. Or maybe let me use the pastor's car. <laughs> that Mercedes Benz, my brother. You know when you put foot. Ah, those horses come to life. Hallelujah. Amen. But we know. We say, I know. The Lord said we must keep. The speed limit. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the power under control. Hallelujah. Amen. Not praying for anybody and everybody. Because Paul says, don't be quick to lay hands. Hallelujah. Amen. It is again power under control. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when we're going through a trial, brother, it is still power under control. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't say, ah, God has forsaken me. No, you don't say God has forsaken me. Hallelujah. Amen. It is power under control. Hallelujah. Amen. You say, ah, I know. God wants me to pick up a character. Hallelujah. Amen. Thy will be done, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, you want me to go through this. Your will, Lord. Let it be done. I will go through the trial. Hallelujah. Amen. I will go through a trial boldly. I will go through a trial with a thankful heart. Because it is your will, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Knowing that just one word. Just one word. Can change the situation. Hallelujah. Amen. When the Lord Jesus was going to the cross, he could call one angel, just one angel, to change the situation. In fact, when the prophet dramatizes, he says, Wemut. Amen. Wemut. Wemut. Says, Lord, allow me just to go down. I'll change the situation. I'll change the I'll just fill the whole place with water. Just give me an opportunity. And the Lord said, No, wait. And another angel comes and says, Lord, look at your children. Just allow me. I'll change the situation. And the Lord said, Wait. Power under control. And there's those Hebrew boys. We're getting closer and closer to the fire. Getting closer to the fire. And the Lord says, wait, my angels. Power under control. It got to a point, those men that were taking the Hebrew boys into the fire. The fire burned them. As proof that the fire was hot. Because today, unbelievers, they say, no, it was a painted fire. No, that fire was not burning. Hallelujah. Amen. But God is not without a testimony. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So those men who were taking the Hebrew boys. Those strong men. Who has taken those boys into the fire. The fire destroyed them. But the Hebrew boys get to, got into the fire. They were having a praise and worship service in the fire. Right in the midst of your trial, brother and sister. Worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if the doctor says you've got cancer. Ah, this cancer is not healed. No, we have not found a medication for this cancer. Even that chemotherapy is not working. I uh, just greet your friends goodbye. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just praise the Lord. And say, I hear you, doctor. I hear you say this disease is incurable. But praise the Lord. Be like John Ryan. When they were laughing at him and say, Oh, we hear you went to that holy roller. We hear that you went to that man, that divine healer. You say, Praise God, I am healed. Praise God, my trial is resolved. Praise God, I have all I need. Praise God, my fridge is full. Praise God, my fuel tank is full. Praise God, my way while children have come back. Praise God I am healed Praise God I am saved Even when you are still struggling with that cigarette Praise God I have dropped the cigarette Praise God I am saved Praise God I am a son of God It won't be long brother sister The trials will fall away Say, ah, we can't even bend this one. Ah, we can't even tempt him. Ah, we're trying him with disease. We can't bring him down. Hallelujah. Amen. Your testimony, brother, sister. Creating the right atmosphere around you. Creating an atmosphere of holiness around you. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet says, even a man that is fallen from grace, he is still a son of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even a sinner, he is still made in the image of God. Hallelujah. Amen. He still is fashioned that way. That is why they don't stop researching this and researching that. Inventing this and inventing that. Making things that, that were not there before. It, it is that desire. That desire in them. Wanting more. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read what the prophet says. He says, and men and made up in that fashion. It, it, it gives him that something inside of him that makes him want to achieve something by himself. So when they are creating this and that, it is that desire in them. They, 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 that, that attribute of God, that creative part of God, in them they want to they want to, to bring that forth Kamo, by their own doing they, we're driving better cars today because of that we have better we, we live in better houses today the problem is they want to do it by themselves he's trying to do something to save himself he wants to get out of it he wants to do it himself he make he wants to make it his own way hallelujah amen all we have to do, brother, sister, is to come to God and praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
and say, God, you made me as I am. You know what it takes to change me. You know what it takes to make me what you want me to be. Hallelujah. Amen. Thy will be done, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thy will be done in my life, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You can see, my brother, I have many quotations. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I have many quotations. Uh, but let us close. Uh, what time is it? Uh, it's one o'clock. Uh, I said I'm going to try and preach a message of the hour. Amen. Amen. Uh, but you forgive me. Amen. Amen. Uh, but one day, be ready. We preach for three hours. Amen. Amen. So you go and practice. Practice patience. Hallelujah. Amen. So when my brother comes and he preaches three hours, or when he preaches two hours, we say, Ah, brother, we're practicing for three. Hallelujah. Amen. And when I come and I preach for two and a half, we say, no, we're practicing for the pastor to come and preach for three hours. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet preached a three-hour message. Two hours. I think there's also a message where he preached for four hours. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us not be tired by one hour. An hour and a half. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's find a place to close. Hallelujah. Yeah. In the message, an enzyme. Yeah. Others would say enzyme. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, this is the, the, the 62 one. The, the one preached in 62. 1962. He says, when you married your wife, you had to have it. You had you had to have faith in her. She had to have faith in you before you could make a home. Hallelujah. Amen. So you had to have faith in your husband. She, he had to have faith in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Then you can make a home. He says, and you you just can't take a haphazard something. And have faith in it. Because it's not proven. Hallelujah. Amen. So what you want to have faith in must be proven. Hallelujah. Amen. So he says, the most proven thing that we could take, take a base upon, a base for faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Would be the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. For faith cometh by hearing. And hearing of the word of God. Because it's God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. So for us to base anything we do, brother and sister. It must be on the basis of the word. Hallelujah. Amen. And hence we can say. It does not matter what trial you're going through. Hallelujah. Amen. As long as your faith is based on the word. Hallelujah. Amen. In the word you can be settled. Hallelujah. Amen. I know the enemy likes to preach. Hey, you can preach and say, ah, when, what can you tell us? Ah, you. When, what can you tell us? Ah, you, the sinner. Huh. You, the backslider. You who are drinking alcohol. You who are smoking. What can you tell us? The enemy likes to preach. And he will preach to you. He preaches to me. And I can tell you, brother, sister, my greatest trials. They come after the service. Hallelujah. Amen. And after the service, after preaching, the enemy comes to try and take out everything that the word has, has brought. Hallelujah. Amen. So this atmosphere 
This atmosphere of the way. So si amo se sali. We must stay in it. Sanjir jule mozo. We must not be quick to come out of it. Ara chole lago tu arikiti. Hallelujah. Amen. Stay in this atmosphere. Jule mozi amo. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because the preaching of the word. Ara chero ya linchu. He's got the power to cast out demons. Ina le mata au lele kama timol. The preaching of the word. Chero ya linchu. He's got power to heal your diseases. Ina le mata au fodisha bulichwa gao. Hallelujah. Amen. The the atmosphere of the word. Atmosphere linchu. He's got power to give you your desires. Stay in this atmosphere. Hallelujah. Amen. When you listen to a tape, don't stop when the prophet finishes preaching. Continue even with the healing line. Hallelujah. Amen. When the message has been preached in church, Stay in church. The prophet says this is the most sacred hour. Hallelujah. Amen. Where you can hear God speaking to you. Where you can speak to God. And say, Lord, I heard the message say this and this and that. Let that happen in my life. Let that happen in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. I've heard the preacher say this and this and that. I hear it, Lord. But reveal it into my heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the prophet says, a revelation comes forth from the from the pulpit. But the supernatural part is still withheld. Hallelujah. Amen. It takes you and the communion with God. For God to release that supernatural part of that revelation. Hallelujah. Amen. So the preaching of the word is just, is, is just to, to excite your, your desire for more of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You know when they read you a menu. You know there's some restaurants you go to. The chef comes out. And he tells you about the meal you are going to have. He tells you this meal. It's beef. Yeah, this beef coming from such and such a place. Prepared like this. And after the main meal, you're going to have a dessert like this. Dessert done like this and like that. They're just trying to excite your taste buds. Don't, be enjoy, don't enjoy them describing the meal. And you say, hey, I've had a good meal. Ah, thank you, and you walk out. Stay and eat the meal. Hallelujah. Amen. So the preaching of the word so, is exciting you about the meal. Hallelujah. Amen. Now after the preaching of the word, have the meal. Have the communion with God. Hallelujah. Amen. And say, Lord, these good things that you told me about, I want to see them in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. This communion with thee that I heard. I want to have it, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to have that, that, that communion with thee. I want to have that fellowship with you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Where this new me can be born. That the old man can die. Hallelujah. Amen. Where I can where I can testify about your goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. I do not want to hear about faith. I do not want to have to talk about faith I have not experienced. Hallelujah. Amen. I do not want to feel warmth of a fire of a painted fire. Hallelujah. Amen. But I want to be part of that fire. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to speak about things I know. I want to speak about a faith that I know. A faith I have seen in, in action. Hallelujah. Amen. Having that communion with God. On the basis of the words. Hallelujah. Amen. Somewhere the prophet says. I think it's in the message. A second handed rope. He says I'm introducing you. 
Ori ki alitivisha of an omnipotent God. Kamu jimu wa mtala hosu. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm introducing you of a God that is beyond your wildest imaginations. I'm introducing you to, a, to an all-powerful God. And that God is expecting me. He's expecting me that I must produce the impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet says God is expecting the prophet to produce the impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. And the prophet he says, So do you. Hallelujah. Amen. God is expecting from you the impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. So rise, children of God. So rise, children of God. Rise from, from the miry clay. Rise from, from that situation of a helplessness. Hallelujah. Amen. Rise to where God has placed you. Rise to what God expects from you to produce the impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. His love demands it from you. Hallelujah. Amen. He's demanding the impossible from us. Because all things, all things are possible Amen. by you. Hallelujah. Amen. Your faith. Just speak. Just speak, brother, sister. What is it you desire? Speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't cry, but speak. Hallelujah. Amen. The situation you're going through. Don't cry, but speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Like Moses. Standing before the Red Sea. God says, Why are you crying to me? Speak and go forward. Hallelujah. Amen. So speak and go forward, Amen. brother, sister. Hallelujah. Amen. That disease, speak and go forward. Amen. That trial, speak and go forward. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because much has been given to us. Much is expected from us. May God bless you. May God bless you. Shall we stand? Hallelujah. My brother, give us a song. Give us a song, my brother.
Amen. Let us all pray. Let us give him a hand and pray. Let us give him a hand and pray. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace, oh dear God. Is there no palm in Gilead? We thank you for the God because there is a palm. There is a possibility to love one another. Thank you, mighty God. Indeed, we can love because we are born again. We can love because we are the children of God. We can love Father God because it is our makeup, O oh Lord. Once we are born again, there is the possibility to do that which Jesus did. Indeed, there is a power in Gilead. As long as we are born again, Father God, not by the corruptible seed, oh dear Father, but by the incorruptible seed, there is a power in Gilead, oh God. David Magagula Mudi, Oberajan Makolo Awe, Namara Nawaka, Namolo Mamatanga Mudi, Dipilucharna, Ditiama, Tamara Nawaka, Riazeva Tatabesh, Uri Dilakamaga Doradia, Honera, Mo, Hone Nava Nava Hau Mudi, Rekabulla in Jimara Nawaka, Jadile Tatabesh, Aurama, Akahonamama, Tamara Nawaka, Rebule. Kaurakarana <laughs> Or a pillar, Kamakaragar, and the Gerla Magayan Arnamudi. They will never get out of it. You are so wonderful, mighty Jehovah. We thank you, Lord, for your word. They will never get out of it. It was a show for the Jehovah. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Yes, the blood of God shed for you and me. Oh, yes, the blood of Jesus was shed for me.
Amen. 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 Tata we show wa magodimo, magodimo kalebi tola mara na wara na Jesus Christ. Magodimo agar rata ocha se baka se khoshi, mozozungwa te chachi dalu kono magodimo ramata ose ho levoga kalebi tola mara na Jesus Christ. We are so thankful, Lord Jesus, to pull put in place the plan of the redemption and the redemption of our bodies, Lord Jesus. Modimo aga rata oche basa waga seko ulebo uga tata kaba kala ore inge modimo kuwe namu pulushi wame boyaya e namu rena kuwe namu rena modimo rama taote morara bulu di modimo wama tata kamoka arna lo na modimo viale modimo aga by the preaching of the word ritla la gidlo kamo kamu rena modimo rama taote repeta kala gidlo kamu kacheri di choka kamu rena modimo rama taote Mudimu arena re arapela khoshi ka lebitso la morena Jesu Christ o re lentjile le re rilwe le tjatjin la le khono morena mudimu ra matla othe le dule di pelong tsa re na morena mudimu wa ka re ya ka nya ka lona bo shego le mose le mo ye na mara na modimo a bo phelo go shia ka mo shego fa tshe tata we sho mo go le bala pala ga ge modimo ba na ba ha o mara na modimo ra matla o tle ba ile re modimo a ka ba ile ba theletsa lentjula ga go mara na modimo ra matla o tle le bona ba shego fa tshe mara na modimo ra matla o tle for listening to your word mara na modimo ra matla o tle lentjule mara na modimo ra matla o tle a nkeletswele o mongwe le o mongwe mo khopa o amata othe May God bless you. Let's meet on Tuesday. Amen. Are you all happy, brother? Are you all happy? Did you enjoy with the word of God? May God bless you, my precious brother.
Yeah. 